A lot of the families that we see have multiple issues and really, really complex cases. So we adopt a multi-agency framework to actually tackling their issues. I had a nervous breakdown six years ago, followed by a couple of years of serious depression. Uh, but what you'll often find within the statutory services is that nobody particularly wants to listen to you. You're not as important as the professional. Well, here at my time, we take a different view. We say, yes, I'm a professional, I have skills and the knowledge, but you are the expert of you. Professional advice helps, but it's got to come from within yourself. The problem I'm facing now... Services for fathers in particular are very scarce within the UK. My children were taken by social service because I couldn't manage to live with them. We'll work with the cultural needs of the client and we offer um, services within many different languages. It's not easy you know, to go to the social service to get your children back. So the life was absolutely very hard indeed. I didn't have um, you know, immigration status, I couldn't get any help, I could go to school, medical services. I was asleep roughly, you know, in the street sometimes with my friends. It was absolutely hard life. My time played a very big role to get back my children. We deal with a lot of high risk um, cases here, a lot of families that other organisations don't really want to deal with. So that could range from post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, alcohol abuse, domestic violence. We've developed our horticultural therapy in the garden. It does a lot to address the isolation issues that a lot of the families are facing at the moment. It's actually a therapeutic activity that helps people to get better and to build on their recoveries. It brings people back to normality. They're involved in actually preparing the food and then serving and eating as a community. Through the actual activity, they're able to be part of the group and build those relationships to address their isolation. It's looking at the end result of what can they achieve, what difference has this service made to their life. I'm expecting to join the university this year in October. That's what gives me the joy, is knowing that I've made a difference to someone's life.